Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to fix a bricked FC. This um, SB Racing F3 isn't bricked, but it was, and I'm going to show you how I fixed it. It's actually pretty easy. So, some of the problems that you might be facing is, um, when you try to connect, you get a failed to open serial port right here, or when you flash something over here, you get um, a uh, programming failed, no response from bootloader, or any type of problem. First of all, what you're going to want to do is go over here. There you go. Link will be in the description. Scroll down and get software. Go through the download process and then you should be able to open it up and it'll look like this. Other things you need to download. Oh, one sec. Yeah, also download some firmware. So. I want to flash Betaflight onto here. You could also want to flash Cleanflight, but let's go through Betaflight first. Uh, yeah, go to the website. You can just search up Betaflight GitHub releases, and you should be um, able to get here. It's probably the first or second link. Scroll down, and these are all the firmwares. And I'm using the SP Racing F3, so. Let's find the SB Raising F3 hex file. Not the Evo, the only the F3. So I would download that, and I already have it downloaded, so I'm not going to do it again. The same thing applies for Clean Flight. You would just scroll down and find the SB Raising F3 hex, and then okay, uh, disconnect your FC. And what you need to do is short the two boot pins. You can see it says boot right there. There are two pins next to it. I just soldered in these little things into there. So it would be easy to short with this plug. Normally though, um, there are just two holes. Uh, let me try to focus in on that. There you go. And you could short that using a random piece of wire. Yeah. So after you've shorted the two boot pins using a piece of wire or soldering in some pins and using a cable, what you have to do is connect it using micro, my, your micro USB cable. Uh, let me do that. There we go. And once you have this plugged in, shorting the two boot pins, it's going to be a solid blue light. Now, open the demonstrator GUI. And one problem you might face is you try to open this, and you might not see a COM port. If that happens to you, go ahead and close clean flight, close beta flight, and try again. Okay, so here I have COM 10. That's my flight control board. And in baud rate, I have to go and select 256,000 for the SP Racing F3. For a naze or some other stuff, you would just use the default of this. So now, click next. Uh, I don't normally click that because it's not highlighted. Uh, yeah, so do nothing on this page, click next. This should say something like STM32F3, because that's the little chip on here, there, I think. Yeah, something like that, I don't know. And then, next, and on this page, click download to device. Go over here, and you have to select your file. As you can see, the um, clean flight or beta flight files are not here, and that's because this defaults to S19 files. You want to go over to um, go over to hex files. There we go. So I have beta flight SB Racing F3 hex and clean flight SB Racing F3 hex. Do not do something for the naze or CC3D or something else. Make sure it suits your board. And I'm gonna do beta flight. There we go. Click on it. Open up. And this is what it should look like. There's my file. 
now next and it should start flashing it this is what the board looks like at that time nothing special now got the green light and that's what it says once it's finished take out your uh, whatever you're using to short the two pins and then you can go ahead and close this oh. yes quit unplug and then go ahead and open up clean flight or beta flight I'll do this in clean flight and beta flight just to show you that it works there we go hook this up flashing red light and now we can go up here and COM port okay we have the correct COM port selected connect there we go it's responding appropriately now we can close that and open up beta flight and connect there we go it's working really well if you um, try to go into beta flight or clean flight and open it up but it says fail to open serial port go through the process I just said again make sure you got all these steps correct um, got the correct baud rate uh, correct file also what might happen is if you have beta flight and clean flight open at the same time with um, your FC already connected in one it might not work in the other one so close them both and then have only one open uh, hopefully this worked for you guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time.